The following is a presentation of SC State Athletics. You are watching the Buddy Pew Show, featuring highlights of the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Our sponsors are Prisma Health, the South Carolina Education Lottery, the County of Orangeburg, working hard for you. Farm Bureau Insurance. Get a quote at farmbureaupromise.com. Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. And by the Department of Health and Environmental Control. Healthy people living in healthy communities. And now, here's our host, the voice of the South Carolina State Bulldogs, Ernest Robinson. The South Carolina State Bulldogs have their hands full this week, taking on the defending ACC champion, Clemson Tigers. The Tigers are 35-0 against FBS opponents and are not happy. Last week, the Tiger offense could muster just three points and two yards running the football. The South Carolina State Bulldogs, on the other hand, hope those offensive problems continue. Coach Stu Clemson, it doesn't get much bigger than this. It doesn't, and these guys are all the bells and whistles, so you better strap it up, because if you don't, now they're embarrassing. We got to play. Last week, Clemson struggled offensively. They only scored three points, only got two yards running the football. We expect to see a different Clemson team. I'm sure you prepared your ball club in that way. Well, you definitely will see a little bit better deal from them on their end. But now if we score seven points, that means we did better than those guys did last week. That's it. Yeah, I don't know if that helps that much. But, you know, our goal is to hang in there with these guys, you know, for a quarter. And then once we hang in for a quarter, then we want to do it for two quarters a half. And if we can do that, I'm telling you, things will get real tight around here because they got beat last week. And the last thing they want to do is come in here and let a soccer out state hang around them for a half. You start talking about that, Coach. You're going to be less than a full deck. Shaq Davis not going to play today. Uh, Jakeem White not going to play today. How do you kind of make up for that? And hopefully some other guys are going to step up and, 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 and have a day. Yeah, that's a sad deal, isn't it? we got to figure out how to put this next man up, Ernest. That's how it works. you got to. You know, get out there and do what you got to do with the guys that you got still alive and kicking. So we'll be all right. We get some of these young guys getting them opportunity to play. And we gonna try, We got about 70 guys on those trip. We're going to try to play most of them. The rules allow us to play a guy, you know, even if we rest shut him up the four games. So so we'll run a guy down on kickoff or do something with a guy that we all know that might not do because he gets an opportunity to play in this style atmosphere and we get a chance to lengthen our team a little bit that way. Two best tacklers last week, B.J. Davis and Chad Gilchrist, expect to play a big role today. What do you hope to do to maybe kind of confuse Tony Edder a little bit, who, of course, is a Buddy Pugh disciple. So from yeah. that standpoint, he knows where some bones yeah. are buried. Yeah, these guys aren't into confusing very much. What they do is they kind of want to let players make plays. So they line up and kind of show you where that, and then they go ahead and snap the ball and do what they do based on what you look like. So. You know, I don't know if you can confuse them, confuse them. I can tell you this, though, and that is that we want to be in there and play with this team in a way where, you know, we show that we belong. And if we get, we get that done, then I, I can tell you that this could be a good football game. Coach, I know you've worked with that offensive line because in the past games up here, offensive line has been a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. Crowd can be a factor. Uh, how do you try to settle that young offensive line down for what they're in for? Well, what we hope to do is to – is to be kind of settled with them. We're not doing bread, some of the motion stuff, some of the crazy kind of stuff. And our center has actually got the cadence this game. So we'll actually go silent count with the center making the call, which that calls, which that gives us an opportunity to hopefully, you know, give them a chance to be more in sync. We think we can block them, Ernest. We really do. So at that point, we'll see what happens once we get into the game. What's going to be the key to the game, Coach? If we can block the offensive front. <laughs> if we can do anything to that front, with our offensive front and allow us to control the ball a little bit, then it continues to be a pretty good football game. Now, if we continuously give them the football back you know, two minutes after we get it, then it'll be a long day. Coach, best of luck this afternoon. Thank you so much. And we are ready to go here from Clemson. Dyson approaches. High end over end kick's going to be short. Shipley will feel it at the 10 on the right side. He's at the 15 up at the 20. Tackled down at about the – he pushes the power forward at the 25. Brought down at about the 28-yard line. Bulldogs showing blitz. Hand off. This is Dixon right up the middle. Dixon across the 30, up to the 43-yard line. 14-yard pickup for Lynn Dixon. Shotgun formation, Ua Galela. Gives a, keeps it himself over the left side. Touchdown, Clemson. As Kendrell Flowers, they snap it back to him. 
Fields throws it out in the flat. It's got a man out there. It's caught, but he doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. And blown play. They throw it out into the flank, and they complete it to the tight end. Oh, good and open field tack it up. From the shotgun. Play action fake, keeps it himself, drives to the left side. Taylor wrapped up. Jalen Evans slings him to the deck from the pistol. Will Shipley's behind him. Fakes it. No, he gives it to Shipley. Shipley over the left side, into the end zone for the score. He's got it down, toe is in it. It's up, and it is good. So just like that, 7.20 to go in the first quarter. It's all the receivers, two to the left, none to the right. They give it to Pace over the right side. Pace breaks a tackle. Pace still on his feet. Pace down inside the red zone, down to the 19-yard line. They give it to Pace. Uh, Why not? Into the end yeah. zone for the score. Dyson Roberts gets off a nice punt. Will Taylor rolling to his left. Fields it at the 33. First tackle miss at the 40. Oh my Will God. Taylor knocked out, knocked down and still up at the 40. Will Taylor, penalty marker down. Will Taylor pushed out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Play action fake. Throws it over the middle. It is caught. Touchdown, Justin Ross. Dyson Roberts gets off a of boomer. Oh my goodness. He did oh, Chris don't, don't Harvin. Uh -oh. oh, that's inbound. That's that's it, under it stayed, one yard line. It stayed inbound. What a play, Dyson <laughs> Roberts. Shotgun formation. Fields gives it over to Kendrick Flowers. Up the middle at the 50, at the 45. Flowers stumbles down to the 35 yard line of Clemson. And finally, the Bulldogs, their second first down. Shotgun snap, field straight, drop back. Throwing long, got a man out there, it's picked oh, off. My. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thought that might happen you at the 40, it. 45. You said it. At the 40, knocked out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Took too long to develop. Add 15 more yards to the end of that run with the hit out of bounds. DJ uh, Galule at quarterback. Play action fake, he throws out in the flash, too high. It's picked off, oh no. Come to the slot on the left, back to pass fields. Throws it out there long, he's got, he's got Wolverine caught. First down, Bulldogs at the 35-yard line. Shipley steps up now. Shotgun snap. They give it to Shipley. Over the left side. Shipley's got a lane. Makes a man move. Shipley on the move at the 35-40. Shipley cut down at the 45-yard line. Shotgun formation now for DJ U uh, Galile. Back to pass. Throws it out into the flat and threw it early and caught. And down the field is a Joe. A Joe is knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Jalen Evans ran him down. Pistol formation, Shipley. They give it to no, uh DJ keeps it himself into the end zone for the score. This will be the longest of this season for Dyson Roberts. Toe is in it. It is up. Oh. And it is no good. Oh, oh no, it's good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 35 for, for Clemson, 3 for South Carolina State. We'll have more of the Buddy Pew Show after this timeout. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. In our state, Team rivalries run deep. Sometimes our fans might not always agree. But South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. It's time to come together off the field. Together, we can beat COVID-19. Vaccines are safe and effective. And they're our best shot at victory. Don't wait until it's too late. Learn how to protect yourself and your family. At scdheck.gov slash vaxfacts. 
All right, Coach, when you look at the first half on Saturday, it ended up just like we did not want it to. We could not get them stopped, and they just went right down the field. Well, it, it was more the first quarter than the first half, but you're exactly right. It didn't go as planned for sure, but eventually we did get to the point where we got to slow down a little bit, but it was a hard stop now. Those guys were just so good up front, and we didn't just have the bodies right now in place to be able to stop. You know, it was basically a push more than anything else because we thought that they would come out and try to establish the run. They struggled a little bit, Coach, and their quarterback uh, had some problems, but because they were able to run the football, that made the difference. It did. Uh, we were hoping that they'd throw it a little bit more. Coastal, they hit us on some big balls in the throw game too, but the run game is what really hurt us, and Shipley hurt us a good bit, and, and DJ hurt us some in the run game, especially in crucial third down short uh, kinds of settings. So we got our work cut out for us, but now we, we are through, hopefully, most of us at this point. And, you know, let's hope that our, that our team will heal some because we got a good many guys that will kind of, you know, banged up some. So hopefully we can get us all back in one, ple one piece and at that point and go ahead and, and show up our run defense. You know, it's tough to kind of talk about this situation, Coach, but we always look for the silver lining. But one guy who showed up the entire game and if there was a player of the game for us, 32, Dyson Roberts, did he have not a, a kind of a career game? I told Dyson, I said, I'm going to have to start loving you a little bit more because <laughs> I have beat him up so much up here. It's almost like, you know, why am I doing this to this child? So, you know, I can tell you that he really has come on and he kicks, he punts, you know, he's a, he, he's a big timer. And he's a game on top of that. He's not nearly as good in practice as he is in the game. You know, I started talking about Dyson Roberts on the radio because I'm a big Steeler fan. And Presley Harvin, who of course was the Georgia Tech, is now the Steelers partner. Right, yeah. And Presley Harvin has that candy thing. And they're both from Sumter or something, Gamecocks. And the one that Dyson Roberts dropped down at the one yard line, they did the backspin that came out and ended up at the one, it had the Clemson fans going, ooh. <laughs> that was a beautiful looking ball too, as it was spiraling through there. And there were a couple others that he had. I don't know exactly how many yards he averaged, but I guarantee you, it was well over 40 yards a punt. You start talking about that. That was kind of the difficult day we had though. But in the second quarter of this football game, coach, you settled down a little bit. We're down 28 to nothing, but you settled down a little bit and, and created some problems for them, and we were able to move the football a little bit. And I was excited about the fact that we did settle down some because if it had gone on the way it was going in the first quarter, then you know what? I don't know what the score would have been. All right, we got to take a time out here on the Buddy Pew Show. South Carolina State going down to Clemson on Saturday, 49-3. to We'll have more of the Buddy Pew Show right after these messages. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Since 2002, the lottery has helped award more than one million scholarships. So when you play, you're not just taking a chance. You're also giving one. Welcome back to the Buddy Pugh Show. We talk South Carolina State Bulldog football with Bulldog head football coach Buddy Pugh. It is the time for the Prisma Health Injury Report. And unfortunately, coach, we're appreciative of the people at Prisma, but we got a report and it was uh, already building before this football game got started. Yeah, it's a long list. Uh, it's more names than I can remember sitting here. Dwayne Nichols has been out. He's had surgery on his hand. Actually, B.J. Davis had surgery on his hand, you know, back in there somewhere on the thumb and then We've got uh, Jablonski Green that's out with a broken wrist. Hopefully, we'll get him back at about the time that we get into our conference race. And then who else? I'm just, Shaq I'm saying Davis. Shaq Davis was out and Rakeem White, both those guys. Rakeem was out with a concussion kind of a deal, and, uh, and Shaq's got a little bit of a hamstring. Hopefully, we can do something to get him back you know, by the time we maybe even get to the conference also. Had a chance to talk to Coach Dabo Swinney before the game, and he asked me about Shaq Davis. I thought it was kind of neat, Coach, and you seem to have a special relationship with Clemson. 
Uh, between the two coaching staffs, of course, Tony Elliott was there as well, that uh, Dabo actually went over and talked to Shaq Davis and told him how sorry he was he wasn't playing. Well, he was <laughs> talking about his defensive secondary guy was glad that Shaq wasn't <laughs> going to play because he thought that might be a headache for them. But I thought Will Vereen came to the dance to really play. And I challenged Will during the week to you know, get in here and play better. So he had, he did. And uh, hopefully that will be another ingredient we'll have for when we get all these guys back together. So between Shaq and Rakim and Will Vereen and some of the other guys, uh, Richard Bailey, hopefully we'll have a good, solid receiving core for the remainder of the season. All right, that's going to end the Prisma Health Injury Board for the week of the Clemson game. We'll take another time out here on the Buddy Pugh Show. We'll come back with more after these messages. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. In our state, Team rivalries run deep. Sometimes our fans might not always agree. But South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. It's time to come together off the field. Together, we can beat COVID-19. Vaccines are safe and effective. And they're our best shot at victory. Don't wait until it's too late. Learn how to protect yourself and your family. At scdhec.gov slash vaxfacts. Action fake throws it over the middle. Caught. Tight end. Uya Ungale. He's going back. Shipley. Handoff. Delayed draw. Shipley. Breaks a tackle. Uh. Gets in the end. Showing blitz. Fumachan. Throws the screen out. Dixon. Cuts back. Dixon inside. Dixon stays on his feet. Gets into the end zone for the score. From the right side to the left side. Handoff. No, nope. Fields keeps it himself. Fields makes a move, gets the first down up to the 36-yard line from our own 35-yard line. Shotgun snap, Fields. Play action fake, going long, throwing it out there. Got Vereen, catches it at the 27-yard line. What a catch, Will Vereen. We snap it, back to pass is Fields. Fields looking, Fields rolling to the right, everybody's the other way. He throws it, complete to Kendrill Flowers. Gets the first down, down to the nine-yard line. What a play by Fields, what a catch by Kendrell Flowers. Flowers in the back of Fields back to pass. Throws it out there. It's dropped in the end zone. Again. Ellis had it in his hands and he dropped it. Starting to feel a little rhythm at quarterback. Play action fake looking long. Throwing long. Got a man out there. It is intercepted by Kobe Durant. What? And he's there saying he formation for Quincy Hill. Hill, play action fake. Hill. Quarterback draw. Hill's got some room. We'll see if that speed can come. Made a man miss. Got up to the 45. That's a good run under most occasions. Hill settles in number 14. Back to pass Hill. Hill looking long. Hill. Now he's going to run the football. Hill's got some room. Hill's going to get the first down and more. Down to about the 42-yard line. 41. Now they put him down at the 40. 49 for Clemson. Three for South Carolina State. All right, second half, Coach. Couple of opportunities in the third quarter to put points on the board. Talk about having the football in your hands in the end zone, and we just don't make the play. Yeah, and you don't necessarily want to try to kick field goals when you're down by, you know, almost oh, double digits, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, we didn't take some points that we probably could have gotten if we had just gone on and kicked because that's Roberts' money. 
you know, when you get inside, oh, about 30, 40 yards or so. So, But at the same time, you know, it was an opportunity for us to at least show that we could move the football some on them, and we started to have some success that way. Looks like Corey Fields' coach got really comfortable when you rolled him out out of the pocket and he was able to buy time. And what's really amazing about Corey Fields is he could throw it a long ways down the field and very accurate, and he hit Wolverine on a couple of beats. I am starting to get excited about Corey again. And uh, he's starting to make some plays, and, and and I can see him getting more confident as he goes into, you know, the meat of the schedule. So, you know, we just need to kind of sit back in the rock and say, I told Will, I mean, I told uh, Corey, I said, I'm just want to see at this point just how far you can get, you know, by the time we get into the conference race. I say, I'm a, I'm dependent on you to be a real horse, you know, as we go forward, as we go forward. Uh, Kendrell uh, Flowers had some good runs as well. You yeah. able to get some runs inside, yeah. and uh, he broke it, had one for 26 yards. He did. Kendrell had a nice, a couple of nice runs, and, you know, maybe one of the sad parts of this whole deal and the fact that I didn't get a chance to talk about, you know, during the prisoner health break was the fact that Alex James, you know, may be out for a while. He had a little bit of a, a shoulder separation of sorts, and hopefully we can get him back. But, you know, those two guys together I thought were really special. You start talking about bringing guys in. You talk about playing a lot of people. Dante Anthony, who came over from defense to play offense, he did all right. It, and Dante is a big enough guy, and he's really starting to do well on special teams for us. I told him that I thought that might ought to be his main ingredient for this team at the, for, at the early part of the schedule. So, you know, he's finding different things that he can do to help us, and, you know, he can. he's a big enough guy that can run. So hopefully he'll you know, be tough enough to make some real stuff happen for us in the special teams game. Another note offensively, Coach, that I thought was pretty good considering the football game was Quincy Hill was able to come in. And actually, Quincy Hill was a change of pace and was able to uh, get some drives going. And that is the thought, that we can maybe do some things a little bit different with him than we can with Corey. So as you see, Quincy, you will get a little bit of a different kind of a offensive style you know, to fit his uh, skill set. All right, we're going to take another break here on the Buddy P Show. When we come back, we'll tell you what's up next for the South Carolina State Bulldogs as we take to the road next week. And we'll have more on this edition of the Buddy P Show. Welcome back to the Buddy P Show, talking Bulldog football with head football coach Buddy P. Coach, New Mexico State, the Aggies of New Mexico State, uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, what do you know about the program and uh, this football team? Well, uh, not, not a lot, to be perfectly honest with you. I've been so deeply involved in this part of our schedule that we don't – and I just haven't paid much attention. I looked at them this spring, um, a, a, a pretty good football team, and they're on two and playing another game tonight against their rival. Uh, New Mexico, uh, University of New Mexico, or, or New Mexico, right. whatever they can do. That is, you're right, New Mexico, and you start talking about them, you don't really worry so much at this point about the opponent, or how you're playing. And so what do you hope to do and, and try to get done for next week? Well, what I hope that we can do is continue to get, improve a little bit ourselves and get some of our banged up players back. So uh, we got our work cut off for us, and, and we'll get back into our office and really do a lot of studying on them this um, for the schedule tomorrow, and then at that point, then we're going about the task of putting the plan together. For the you know, guys. we talked before the game about the crowd. I thought the offensive line, for the most part, gave a pretty good account of themselves. Uh, as far as the, the silent count, Simon's calling the plays, Brown up front coach. What about the offense, and, and how does that carry on when you go to on the New Mexico State and further in the MEAC against tough opponents? Well, I'm hoping it won't be nearly as big a deal crowd noise-wise as it was in a setting such as this, but I didn't think we had much of a problem as far as the, but now we simplified, you know, some of our attack in a way where we didn't do nearly as much jet sweep motion, that kind of stuff, because that kind of stuff is the kind of stuff that you need to count to be able to time up. So, you know, we've got to the point now where we can go either way with the silent count or with the regular count. Coach, I know you don't know a lot about New Mexico State, but I want to tell you, ask you what's going to take for you to get a win next week out there. Well, we got to continue to improve on offense. I think as long as our defense is continuing to get to the point where they can hang in there with folk, then we've got to go out and actually match up with other people's offensive uh, approach. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of the Buddy Pew Show. We hope to see you next week. We'd like to see you make the trip out to Las Cruces, New Mexico. If not, you can listen on the Bulldog Football Radio Network. But, of course, we want to see you next week right here on Bally Sports on the Buddy Pew Show. Thank you for watching the Buddy Pew Show, featuring highlights of the South Carolina State Bulldogs. The show has been brought to you by Prisma Health. 
the South Carolina Education Lottery, the County of Orangeburg, Farm Bureau Insurance, Founders Federal Credit Union, and by the Department of Health and Environmental Control. Join us next week for highlights of South Carolina State football on the Buddy Pugh Show.